continue to put it all together. In order to get a hole in the carpet for the shifter to go through, we're cutting a circle around in the carpet here, and then we're going to lay it on the other carpet as a template to cut out the hole. So now I'll just trace it onto the carpet here. Now that we've got the carpet and the tray in the back end, we're putting the seat in. And since we pressure washed the carpet, it's kind of changed size a little bit. Not too bad. So we're using screwdrivers to line up the holes in the bottom of the seat to the holes in the truck of the carpet in between. And just putting them through to hold it in place before we can get the screws in. Now we're going to be attaching the seatbelt. We're attaching the buckle parts of the seatbelt to the floor now. So we put the lower boot on underneath here, and then we put this bolt, this boot on and used all the little holes under here as a template for where to drill the holes in the floor. Now we'll put this little outer ring on and then put the screws in that. I'm putting on the little cover and gauge for the transfer case shifter now. Just four screws that go right in.
just gotta put this little knob on here. Here we go. Two shifters back in place. So now that we've got the manual and the automatic transmission swapped, we need to figure out the wiring because these plugs do not work on the manual transmission in the same way that they did to the automatic. They don't plug in, you don't need all of the wires. But this, this is the front harness here. All of these wires went to the automatic transmission, but we don't need all of these for the manual, just two of them for the reverse light things. And then this connects to the O2 sensor over here, but it needs to go over the engine, so we'll work on that later. And this plug here connects to this over here, which goes to this harness, which is for the front hub. This one connects to the back of the transfer case to sense the speed. And then this one connects to the front of the transfer case to tell you if you're in four-wheel drive or not. But this one's got an extra wire that is not in the plug. So we've got to figure out which one we don't need and how we're going to make them fit. And this one goes to the front hub somewhere, but we're not sure what in the world it's supposed to do and where it connects to because it was not on my parts truck. So we will be figuring that one out as we go. Now we're going to try to hook up the reverse light wires here. We've got the wires in the plug from the other truck and we've found the matching colors of wires here, so we're going to cut them in the middle and join the wires. Hopefully they work. And there we go, they're cut. So we've got the two ends of the blue wire connected in our solder connectors which are heat shrink and waterproof and so we're going to be using the heat gun to connect them together. Now we've got the green one all lined up and ready to go. So we've got this all hooked up and put back together. This goes to the transmission now and it's just got the reverse light things that we need. This goes to the front hub harness and this goes to the O2 sensor and this is the old plug for the automatic transmission but we're just gonna ignore it and let it hang in there because we don't want to hurt it and then need it later. Now we've got that section of the wiring hooked up. Here's the main harness and the rear lights are plugged in. We've got the O2 sensor plugged in it's, it's plugged into the front hub harness, and we also have the speed sensor plugged in. So the automatic had three wires going into the plug, but we only have two wires from the manual, but the colors do match, so we're just going to ignore this green wire and hopefully it doesn't do anything important for the manual. So we're going to hook these up and plug it in. There we go. I plugged in the four-wheel drive sensor. There are three wires going from the transfer case to the computer because um, the computer wants to know on the automatic transmission if it's in for high or for low, but on the, with the manual transmission it doesn't care. The computer was confused when we hooked the blue wire up to the blue wire, but when we hooked the green wire up to the blue wire, then everything works fine. We're connecting the green and the blue wire. These wires were originally together, but the clip broke, so now we're going to Use the heat solder to put it back together. Ah! 
So on a manual transmission, the reverse light wires come off of the column instead of the transmission like on an automatic. So we've sealed these off in the solder, just make, make them waterproof and now we'll tape it up back in here. So we're adding an extension onto the reverse light so we can get it up to where the column is so we can hook it on where it's supposed to be. So I'm soldering wires onto the extension wire. And now we've got our wires all insulated and ready to be strung up into the upper part of the truck. Now we're going to put in the front drive shaft. And the front drive shaft is in. Now we'll make sure that it actually works. I'm just going to turn it on to accessory here. If we put it in four, you can see the lights turn on, and I can hear the hubs engaging down below. We did it! Got four wheel drive. We're letting down the truck because we're hopefully done working underneath it now. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment down below. Next video, we'll be working on figuring out the reverse light and all of the wiring and the column and the clutch pedal. Thanks for watching.